everyone, I'm Jasper, and today I'm joined by my fellow junior class officers, and we'll be giving you a virtual tour of the new high school. So firstly, you may have noticed the new room numbers on your schedule. This is a big number, and I know it can seem intimidating, but the system is actually a lot similar to the numbering system at the old high school. The first part of the room number is a letter. If the letter is A, it is in the non-academic wing. If the letter is B, it is in the first branch, C, second branch, and D, third branch. The next number is a floor. The floor number can range between one and four. The last two numbers are the room number. If the number is 07, then you're looking for room number seven. So for example, if you were looking for room C327, you would go to the second branch, third floor, room number 27. Let's get started with the tour. The first stop is the cafeteria. Um, so this is the new cafeteria. Um, probably the most noticeable thing that you will notice when you walk in is this really nice logo above us on the bridge. This is Beam HS. Um, it's very wide open. The space above and around us is very different and new than what we're used to at the old high school. What I'm facing right now are the windows above the doors. This is going to allow a lot of natural sunlight in, which is also like a new factor to the cafeteria. We have this really cool seating area. Um, the tables are rolly. <laughs> we have nice ornament, balcony chairs. And over there we have um, these really cute couches, you know. Yo, get some physicians and chairs. Um, do you want to go to that yeah. thing? Yeah, we can go to the new room. Yeah, I'm not sure what this new TV is going to show once the school opens, but it's there for our viewing. This is the other room of the cafeteria for when there's... Oh, there's guys. <laughs> There's no, no room in the other room. Um, we have more chairs and tables. Um, it's all not finished now. But we have like these like shutters on the ceiling. What's really, really cool is that we have like outlets on the walls and then like on this, we have an actual like outlet on the seating. <laughs> on the seating itself. So, you know, while you're eating, you can charge your devices for your convenience. Um, once it's finished, I'm pretty sure outdoors is going to have seating as well for students, so. Yeah, there will be outdoor seating yeah. for students. You'll also be able to eat out there. A lot of freedom, I feel like, with the new cafeteria because there's just so much, like, space for you to, like, roam around in. And, like, you can just pick wherever you want to sit. And, like, no matter where you sit in the cafeteria, it's just going to be, like, a nice, little atmosphere. Yeah. yeah, it's very refreshing. So, we have more tables and chairs over here. And then, speaker, surround sound for sure. They're working on the um, punch lines right now, so everything's kind of still like in the works. But these are the lunch lines that you're going to be you know, in when you buy your food. Um, very different than what we're used to, um, like opposed to going into separate rooms when you buy food. We have um, very open space. Oh, they already have like little drinks in there. That's cute. Yeah. So weird though, it's like the only food in here. Um, yeah, you can see the kitchen back there too. And then like, I'm pretty sure these are gonna show like the menu for the day and stuff like that. And um, those little, carts where you could like put things on your food like buffet style probably gonna be like replaced by these um no that's, that's pretty much it <laughs> um overall like the new okay i'm gonna stay here overall the new cafeteria um i really like it myself because it's very open and i like having nice places to eat my food so i hope you enjoy this cafeteria tour. <laughs> We're standing in the new orchestra and band room. And this room was a major point of consideration when designing the new school. And it has a lot of cool features that will help out the orchestra, band, and any other music ensembles that use this room.
as you can see, there's a lot of windows around, and the windows over there allow for skylights, and the windows right there allow for people to see into the orchestra room, which could be an interesting view, and also for light from that part of the building to also come in here. In addition, the new room has a lot of storage solutions that weren't present in the old orchestra and band room. These shelves allow for a lot of uh, instruments to be stored for both the orchestra and band, and this makes the main area less cluttered. Here we have the practice room, and in the practice room, there's just enough space for a few students and, and a teacher. And this is a perfect solution for splitting off from the big group to practice or holding lessons. The two-story structure of this room allows for better acoustics than the low ceiling of the old orchestra room, which is a big plus when the orchestra and band play in here during their music rehearsals, providing an environment that's more similar to a stage in an auditorium. Hello everyone, just want to invite you guys into the new BMHS uh, gymnasium. We're standing here at Santa Corda, the new Gorick Memorial Indian Head. Uh, we're also in the competition court. As you can see behind me, we have our new Jumbotron uh, scoreboards. Uh, fully uh, stocked with software that allows us to do a lot of fun promotional things for the kids during a game, while uh, prior to games and after games and all throughout the school day. Uh, the capacity of the gymnasium is about 1400 plus. Um, if you wanted to hold larger events in here, we also have up to about two or 300 maybe seats that could be put in here for anything that you would like to do that might be larger than that. We do have three, uh, three courts in here, uh, 12 basketball nets, and we have two uh, additional school boards on the side courts. Uh, that also operate off of the same software that run our original school boards in the competition court, allowing us to do all kinds of video production pieces with it. So, uh, you might see some students running around behind me. We actually have a uh, floating track that hangs about 15, 20 feet above the, uh, the gymnasium. It is a two-lane track with a uh, textured rubber floor, and it's about 13 laps for a mile. We do have some really cool branding on both the visitor and home uh, walls. Uh, I'm sure you'll get a chance to see that. And we have our traditional BMHS on both uh, home and visitor stands as we see them. I'm Shannon, and I'm here to give you a tour of this brand new auditorium. Being in the theater department myself, I am super excited to give you a tour of our new stage and all this new seating. First, all the way up there is the lighting and sound booth. This booth controls all the lighting and sound for the show, like all the spotlights, all the mics, all the speakers, everything like that. Then, down there, we have the orchestra pit. That's where the band and orchestra play for the shows, since we usually do have live music. Then, all throughout here is our wonderful seating. There's seating all the way up there, and there's an elevator in there for people who are in wheelchairs or handicapped who want to sit up there. And then we have all the seating right here. And then lastly, we have our stage right over there. It's not super finished yet, but it looks pretty nice, and it's super, super big. Now, in the world of theater, we have this thing called fly space. Fly space is the height above the stage, all the way to the ceiling. And it's where you store sets, it's where you store all the stuff, and in Broadway productions, it's hoisted down to save room for the actors in the wings, AKA the side of the space, the stage. Now here, we are super, super lucky to have fly space equal to the height of the stage, so that means we can have much more elaborate sets and save space for us, the actors in the wings.
And that's the auditorium. As you can see, this auditorium is a lot nicer than our old one, and I am super excited to see all the concerts and productions that happen on the stage. Be sure to come see Romeo and Juliet, Playing Favorites 4, and Crazy For You this in the upcoming school. This is an example of your standard academic room or your classroom. As you can see, the desks are a lot nicer, a lot comfier, and are not covered in pencil marks and gum anymore. We also have a new smart board, AKA a whiteboard that you can write on, but it has a projector that can upload the newest software available and the teacher can connect their computer to it too. You should also notice all the natural light and all the windows we have. feature of this room is the AC. It'll keep it cold in the summer and hot and warm in the winter. Hi everyone, so behind me is the Learning Commons, so this includes the library, Innovation Cafe, Quiet Space, and the TV Production Suite. So the Learning Commons include a lot of quiet space for students who like to get their work done during study or like having a quiet place to relax during the school day. We got new technology for the TV and Production Suite, which includes things that the Film Club and Drama Club will use later on during the school year. We all hope that you enjoyed this video tour of the new high school. Not only did we take this video tour, but we took 360 degree videos, so you will be able to tell what it's like to be in here yourself that we'll be uploading separately. You guys will be getting the opportunity to come in here yourself before school starts. Incoming 8th graders will have orientation on August 21st at 5pm. Incoming freshmen will have orientation on August 22nd at 5pm. And rising sophomores, juniors, and seniors will be having orientation on August 29th at 4pm. We highly recommend that you come to one of these orientation days because we'll be assigning Chromebooks and giving you tours of the new school. Thank you for watching and we all want to say a special thank, thank you to BATV for making this video possible. Thanks and enjoy the rest of your summer. Stuco out. <laughs> <laughs>